Hi, are we gonna do this? Are we really gonna talk about chihuahuas and how ferocious, nasty, and yappy, and annoying you guys are really are? Really are? <laughs> it's not true. Let's debunk some stuff about chihuahuas and see how me and Aki, my chihuahua, lives perfectly with a cat because, you know, I'll tell you later. But if you're interested, just keep on watching. guys so in today's video I know it's not about anything that I usually talk about but I really wanted to do a video on animals again and I really wanted to talk about specifically on chihuahuas and how they relate to cats and whether or not if you have a cat or if you have a chihuahua you can make them live together the reason why I'm doing this video it's because when I was looking into videos about making a dog living with a cat I was never seeing any chihuahuas apart from funny videos where they were really really yappy where they were explaining how these two species can coexist together so I just wanted to make a video for some people out there who are considering having a cat and a chihuahua together and also because I want to debunk a little bit of stuff around chihuahuas in general and let's start with this last point initially so when I was looking into uh, adopting a chihuahua, I got so overwhelmed about the amount of people that were saying you should never get a chihuahua, especially if you have a cat, they will really react badly, they are yappy dog, they bite, they are annoying, they bark incessantly, they bark so loud that you know you are going to get kicked out of your apartment and I am not saying that there aren't chihuahuas that definitely do portray this characteristic but at the same time I do really think that if your animal, whatever animal that is, whether it is a cat or a dog, um, partially if they are be misbehaving it's because of you. It because honestly um, I mean, unless they are really a very wild, wild kind of animal, which can happen, everything can be fixed and, and you can communicate with your animals. And like I mentioned in my video on how to telepathically communicate with your animals, I really do believe in vibration. And I do believe that with love and healthy communications with our animals, psychically and not, we can really have an harmonious relationship, even when they come from different species. So everybody was saying how much it was a bad, bad choice to get a chihuahua. But obviously I'm a tourist, so stubborn as I am, I got a chihuahua. And I am so happy that I did because it turned out to be anything but what they were saying. First and foremost, Aki, because he is Aki, by the way, is a nine months chihuahua long furred. As they can see, so small and so cute. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, stop. So, um, first and foremost, Aki is a very apparently a, a typical chihuahua. Meaning, in other words, he loves my cat. He loves any animal literally whether it is a squirrel or whether it is a rabbit whether it is a cat or a dog or a wolf he loves 
all the animals. He never barks in my apartment. I think I heard him bark only once when he hears like ding, ding dong, when somebody like knocks on my door. He just barks like for one single second simply because he gets all excited. Or for example, when he gets excited because he's playing with a, with, with a friend, he, he barks a little bit, you know, but that, that, that it's normal. Come on. If you want to bark, if you want a dog that doesn't bark completely, you probably don't even want a dog you know it's like saying I don't want my cat to say meow it's kind of impossible come on and it's cute it's what makes them special in my opinion so and you know so but it's not like barking in like so loud that I cannot even do my videos like look he fall asleep like he fall asleep in my arms can you believe it he is so sweet and gentle to everybody and he and anubi my other cat that i'm not going to pick up i'm just going to show you clips of him uh, because he kind of gets annoyed when i pick him up they love each other they constantly play with each other i wish i could have caught it on camera but i didn't because every time that they were playing and running around the house they stopped as soon as i had the camera out because anubi has a problem he doesn't want to be on social media he's a, he's a private type of cat he doesn't want to have an account you know he's a bit peculiar he doesn't like picture taken on him and especially shared on social media you know he, he's a bit of a mistake so and he's an angel of a cat like he never attacked him like I never heard a newbie hissing ever not even once and this guy is being so sweet he's so sweet like not only he never barks he never bites he's constantly playing with everybody but just the other day he was playing with a two-year-old child and if you have heard something about chihuahuas they highly suggest you not to to have a chihuahua if you have a very very small child because they could get jealous or they could get overly protected they are guardian dogs still considered and they could bark they could bite them this guy was literally playing for an hour and a half with this two-year-old kid he loves kids so much it's crazy every time he sees a child he needs to greet them he needs to go to them and the parents are like but can he can my child touch your chihuahua like is he is he safe and I said oh He's, it is and then he starts licking him and I, I don't know like it's not true what they're saying about Chihuahua it's not true that they are purse dog sure he will be on my purse if it's really really cold and maybe if I for example in, the, in an airplane or in an hotel and needs to stay in his own place yes I do keep the bag near because he feels that that is his own space and he doesn't go around but no this guy and these guys they are super energetic if you are not an energetic person do not take a chihuahua do not adopt them they will walk for hours literally me and this guy i walk a lot like all the time and he walked for seven kilometers when he was five to six months i mean seven kilometers for such short legs do you know how much that is it's insane and still when we were going back home he was still running he has so much energy is crazy these are dogs that will be perfect if you like to go on adventure and go out and do quite of a walk especially if you're a personal chihuahua it's not lazy and wants to have activity these are dogs that are perfect for agility and uh, you know not boring stuff at all but at the same time he's so sweet that when i'm working unfortunately a lot of hours uh, you know, at home with my computer he just sits next to me falls asleep and waits for me until I finish and I take him out he's an angel and everyone that has met this chihuahua has said how did you manage to do that because the chihuahuas that we have saw they were yappy and my vet actually told me that they have improved the breed and they have made them more lovable less yappy and so I just want you to know that if you have a cat in your house and if you want to own a, or better adopt a chihuahua 
I think that you can and it's just a matter of the amount of love and healthy communication that you're giving to your chihuahua. You need to, you know, train yourself to, to communicate with them. When he was small, I was already clicking, uh, using the clicker training immediately. He was already like immediately, because it's highly intelligent and it is a highly intelligent breed, he was already able to potty pad immediately. When I removed the potty pad, he waits patiently to to go out and never does it anywhere he never did it not even when he was small and just people are shocked about the fact that he's so well behaved and so intelligent but honestly I just think because I applied the advice that I gave to you guys in my video about telepathic communication I communicate with him and with the newbie my cat all the time when he was about to come i talked with the newbie and i said well we're gonna have a new dog and it's gonna be this and it's gonna be that and i could feel that he was receptive to it so for instance my second point is if you want to make a dog and a cat live together it's very crucial that you know your pet whether this is the dog or whether this is the cat you need to be aware of the tendency and preference of your own cat for instance the cat of my dad Irina hates dogs and when he is around she's hissing and she's feeling very frustrated because she's also 13 years old so my dad knows that he cannot take another animal at home because that will create enormous amount of stress in his pet but for instance because I know very well my own pet Anubi I knew that things were going to be fine so if you want to integrate a dog with a cat or a chihuahua with a cat I feel it's definitely possible as you guys can see from these images but it's very important that you have awareness and, and you also potentially ask a professional trainer to help you out with that or at the very least your pet your vet I always always ask the advice of the, the vet and trainers that I know I always watch tons of videos and read tons of books so for, for instance when uh, he was very small I used to separate the room Anubi's room from where we kept him and I introduced them very very slowly and gradually until Anubi was completely fine with it and nothing bad has happened they always play together they never he never even tried to attack him I, I, actually is him that is always like biting not biting like hurting but like wanting to play and all this stuff but as you can see like he's falling asleep in my arms like not barking not do anything like my parents were worried they were saying you're doing videos he's gonna bark like non-stop and it's just not true they're the sweetest animal that exists but my advice to you is to read a lot about the breed and to when you're gonna pick up your puppy whether it is in a shelter or through a reputable breeder observe their behavior their level of energies especially and see whether or not that particular breed or that particular pet because they are all different even if there could be the same breed their level of energy matches yours he as a chihuahua has a high energy level so I know that I have to take him out as much as possible with long long runs and walk and having another animal in my house allows me to entertain him but I definitely did want to debunk the fact that they are yappy oh he's kissing me horrible dogs and they bark all the time they definitely not he's so good that he even plays with big dogs and I never really have to pick him up or doing anything you know because he was annoying other people when we are at the vet he gently sits on my lap and just patiently waits so I don't know maybe it is because I constantly teleport communicate with my pets maybe it's because I did trust the advice of my vets and professional people as well and I made tons of research because owning a pet is an enormous responsibility and sacrifice but I just wanted to give you my own humble contribution with this tiny video and the clips that I showed you guys just to, to make you see that no chihuahuas can be adorable and they can be sweet and they can make the perfect family dog for so many people and they are definitely loyal companion and they definitely can live with a cat that does accept their presence so just be aware of the personality of your cat and know that it is possible and they can be friends okay so this is what I have for you if you guys are interested in animal videos that more just comment down below and let me know your stories or just in case you want to know more about pet 
psychics and telepathic communication with animals the video is here on my channel you just have to check it out okay thank you so so much and see you very soon with another of our videos here on Aradia Alchemy bye from me and Aki